One thing that makes this event unique is that it creates space um, for all of us to just come together. And sometimes we just sit with how we're feeling that day or um, where we've been and maybe where we're going. We hope that throughout this, this event that you find a thread of hope that's weaved throughout your personal story. Bracewell is our government affairs partner in National Brain Tumor Society, and they really have done such an amazing job working with us over the last few years. And just last year, uh, a, real, a real credit to them in working together with our advocates, help pass the Childhood Cancer STAR Act, the most comprehensive childhood cancer legislation in history. I have some really exciting news. The CERN Foundation supported a, the first prospective clinical trial for adults with a pendymoma. It was a successful trial. That alone, I think we can go fast, but together we can go far. And thank you to David Ahrens for what he's put together here because the collaboration with the NCI and MBTS and CERN has been amazing and I think will make a difference. Thank you. That CT scan changed my life. It came back with a massive brain tumor. I somehow knew that my time wasn't over, but I knew I was forever gonna be changed. I then asked my mom who raised me and she said, this is the sign. You'll now understand the patient's perspective. Go for it. I didn't know that when I woke up from surgery, I would be a future neuro-oncologist. I'm a son, I'm a brother. I'm a dreamer, I'm a fighter. I'm a Spartan and I'm an e pendymoma survivor. But most of all, I am Ian. I didn't choose cancer, but it chose me. I didn't choose to lose 17 months of my childhood to hang out at hospitals with IV drips, harmful drugs, horrible infections, and a feeding tube. My doctors say things like, we had a home run with this one, and he was a medical wonder. I think I'm just me, Ian, the kid with nice hair. This is my awesome life beyond cancer. <laughs> the way it should be. I have the best job, the best friend, and the best family. I didn't choose cancer, but I chose to beat it. In closing, I just want to give others hope that there are good days to come. Fight for them. Go green. <laughs> Well, to me, I was thinking, what does a butterfly symbolize? It means that they fly, they defy gravity. They've been through transformation. Every single one of us, whether we're the person that's been with the brain tumor, or we're a loved one that supported the person with the brain tumor, or a healthcare worker that's fighting for the brain tumor survivorship, we are all like butterflies. We have been given supernatural wings to defy the gravity of the situation, right? And we're soaring. Even when we feel like we are face down in the mud going through this and we don't see a light at the end of the tunnel, we have somehow already gone through that transformation and we're flying through it.